Hello there lovelies and welcome to lesson three on week six. Um, we're doing percentages today and the knowledge check is on the screen. Um, these exchanges here, try and remember what the original exchange is from minutes to hours. Um, you may use um, a calculator for these. You've got about five or six minutes, so pause the video and have a go. Um, for this question here, you don't have to draw out the um, number lines. Pause the video and have a go. If you haven't paused the video, uh, answers are coming up in three. Green pens at the ready. Two, one. Okay, answers are on the screen. Um, remember the knowledge check questions are in orange boxes. So down here that the exchanges uh, should be written out in words. If you wrote the numbers out as well, um, that's fine. Could be 15, 3, 1, 0, and 200. Um, the exchange here is one hour is 60 minutes. One day is 24 hours and one week is seven days. So those are the original exchanges. And this one down here is a little bit of a challenge. So it was 365 days in a year. So you have to figure out how many of those, how many years are in those amount of days and then leftover weeks, and leftover days. That was quite a challenging one down here. And down here, writing out in words, if you put 0.3, that's completely fine. Um, I'll use zero just to reinforce the placeholder. So 0 0.3 and that's 0 0.03. You should notice that each one here, we're dividing by 10. So the place value is going to go back one. So 30, 3, 0, 3, 0 0.3 and 0 0.03. So pause the video, you still need to tick and fix. Okay, so what we're looking at today is percentages. Two lots of 50% make 100%. 100 divided by 2 make 50%. Two 25% make 50%. 50% divided by 2, 25%. 100% divided by 4 is 25%. 50% divided by 5 is 10%. 100% divided by 10 is 10%. 2 lots of 10% make 20%. 5 lots of 20% make 100%. 100% divided by 5 makes 20%. 20% 20 divided by 2 makes 10%. So this bar model here shows you all the different ways that the percentages work together and how you can see that a lot of them are related and you can use knowledge of one to get knowledge of another. If you know what 1% uh, what 10% what is, you can use that to work out 20%, 50% or even 100%. Once you know 100%, you can work out 25%, 50%. Etc. If we know what 100% is, the whole amount, in this case it's 20, we can work out 50% because we know that 100 divided by 2 makes 50%. So 20 divided by 2 would give us 50%. So 50% is 10 and same on the right. So we did 50 divided by 2 to give us. 25% or we could do 100% divided by 4 which is 5 100% divided by 10 gives us 10% 20 divided by 10 gives us 2 10 lots of 2 gives us 20 10 lots of 10% gives us 100% Two lots of 10% give us 20%. Two lots of 2 give us 4. 100% divided by 5 gives us 20%. 20 divided by 5 gives us 4. 
pause the video now if you'd like to take any notes. So we can use this table, this bar model here, to help us with a different question. If we wanted to work out 50%, what do we do to get from 100% to 50%? Divide by 2, which means we also divide 80 by 2. How do we get 25%? We divide 50% by 2, which means we do the same to that side, which is also 20. How do we get from 100% to 10%? Divide by 10, divide by 10. Now, hopefully this is bringing back the memories from primary school. You would have covered this in maybe year four, year five. So hopefully this is just bringing it back to the front of your mind. 10% to 20% times two, times two. So if you would like to make any notes on anything on the board, also be aware that that question is going to be in your MCQ. So pause the video now if you'd like to take any notes. Okay, so we know 10%. What other percentages could we work out and how? So this is the whole amount here. Think about how many boxes there are and what percent could we work out? Have a little think, pause the video now, have a little think, see if you can jot down some notes. Okay, so hopefully you've noticed that it's 10%. You could work out 20% times in by two. We already know that one from the previous slide. But if we know 10%, we can calculate any percentage that's a multiple of 10 really easily. 70% so times by seven. 150% still a multiple of 10 ends in a zero. Multiply by 15. Even 500% by multiplying. Okay? As long as it's a multiple of 10, we can make any percentage really easily. Pause the video to take a note of that. So what I've done here is kind of combine the table and the flow chart from earlier into one diagram. We're going to use this information to complete the diagram, starting with 150. Go from here to here, we divide by 10. From here to here, times by 2. Here to here, divide by 2. Here to here, divide by 2. You may need to use bus stop division for this, or you may use a calculator depending on what you feel comfortable with. If you feel comfortable doing long division, please do. Otherwise, please use a calculator. So if we have 10%, we can easily work out 20% by doing this calculation here. Five times two. Okay. Now here, we're going backwards. We're going the opposite way of the arrow. So what is the opposite? Good job. Hopefully you have 50. And now we're doing the exact same thing that we did before. Divide by two. Divide by two. first one you're going to work out. Now, I may have worked out this percentage first, but you can go either direction depending on what you feel more confident in. Divide by 10, times by 2. We go this way now, so we're going to divide by 2. And then we're going to divide by 2 again. Same here. Divide by 10 times by two. Let's go from here to here, divide by two. Here to here. Okay, remember if you're doing bust up division, you might need to add in some placeholders afterwards. And don't forget to carry if necessary, or you can use a calculator. Oh, right, again, I've given us a little bit of a challenge here, combining this with algebra. We don't know what this number is. 
But to work out 20% of this unknown 10%, let's get from here to here, it comes by 2, 2n. Two let's get from here to here, it's 10n. So we know that 10 lots of any number, 10 lots of any 10% will always give us 100%. Let's go from here to here, by then. It's here. Now this one you can either do 5n divided by 2 or 2.5n. 2.5n. Okay, your password for today is 150. Your password for today, 150. 150. Apparently people said they couldn't see it. There you go. 150. That question there is going to be on your MCQ. So you're going to be working out 25% of 50. Okay, now this grid here, the format is slightly different than before, but it's the same process. So think about how you work out 10%. Um, this here is also a challenge. So I'm just going to put in a little, little chilli up here too. If you want to challenge yourself, please go for it. So the main one I want you to really focus on is this one here, this 10% box. Okay, 10% box here. And if you've been given 100%, you can go backwards there. Think about how you work from one. Right, answers are on this screen here. If you found that a bit challenging, don't worry, you can come back to it later. You may have done this in the wrong order, so don't worry if you found that a bit challenging. Okay. Three minutes for this one because it is has a few challenges in here as well. So you are working out the area or you're writing the area as an expression, which means there's going to be some algebra in this. So just think about your formulas for area. OK, pens at the ready. Three, two, one. Off you go. Work out the area. Pause the video and have a go. If you haven't paused the video, the answers are going to come up in three, green pens at the ready, two, one. All right, answers are on the screen now. Tick and fix, pause the video. If you would like to do that without me talking, um, up here it's going to be in your MCQ. Remember, here you have to multiply E by E to give E squared. Now, same here, W times W is W squared. We've got two lots of those here. So we've got 16W squared here, 16W squared here, which gives us 32W squared. WT or TW because of commutativity. Remember, the number always goes in front. Coefficient goes in front. Now, here, we're working at the shaded area, which is half of the rectangle. So that's why we divided by two. Now, some of you may have forgotten about parallelograms. Parallelogram is the same area as a slanty rectangle. So we don't use a diagonal, but we always use the right angles work out area. Base times perpendicular height, so 8 times 6. Same here, we don't use a diagonal. Base times perpendicular height, 14 times 12. Pause the video now to tick and fix. Okay, so here is your grid to help you find your percentages and you're working out 10%, 20%, 50%, 50% and then the percentages down here. And then if you have 10%, you need to work out 100%. So think about which way you go to go from 10 to 100. Okay, 10 to 100. Pause the video now and have a go at these questions.
Okay, answers are coming up in five green pens at the ready. Four, three, two, one. Okay, answers are on the screen now. With those two being important for your MCQ. Pause the video to check and fix and make any notes. Okay, this is the last part of today's lesson. So it's about using the percentages you. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay, so it's about using the percentages that you have to try and make other percentages. So how can we use 50, 10, 5, and 1 to make 40? Silent teacher. One way, another way, another way. All of those three give us 40%. So once you calculate 50%, you calculate 10%, you can use your answers to work out 40%. What about 4%? There's a few different ways you can do this one as well. Do you 5% take away 1% or 1% times 4. Either way, you'll get the same answer. And this is also useful in case you need to check your work. If you do it one way and you get an answer, and you do it another way and get a different answer, that means one of your ways is incorrect. So you might have to go back and check some of your work. Useful thing about maths. Okay, if you want to take a note of those percentages up here, and do this one together. So how can we work out 60%? If you've had a go and written this already, good job. Okay, so one way you could do 50% plus 10%. If you've done that one, can you think of a different way? Good job, 10% times six. There's one other way. Have a look on the left in case you're not sure. Good, 1% times 60. So three different ways to work out 60%. What about 19%? Well, we know you can use 20% to take away 1%. So remember, we can make 20% by doing 10% times 2. We do 1% times 19. Or we do 10% plus 5% plus 4%. So lots and lots of different ways. And to work out 4%, we can use this over here. So there are lots of different ways to make these really weird percentages, but that's why finding 1% is so incredibly useful because 1% is a factor of every single number. So if you know 1%, you can use that to work out any percentages. That's a really, really important calculation. And try and think about the relationship between 10% and 1%. Pause the video now if you want to make any notes. All right, last exercise of the lesson that's compulsory. Um, Try and think about how you can make these percentages. So this here is a vinculum. So there should be a, a box there, but it hasn't come out. So I'll just draw one and give me a moment. So there should be a little box here to put your other number in. That is a vinculum. All right, pause the video and have a go at trying to make those percentages. There's more than one correct answer. Okay, answers coming up in three, green pens at the ready, two, one. Okay, answers are on the screen now. If you did it a different way, um, please um, add it in the comments so I can have a little look. Remember, because of commutativity, you may have written this the other way around. If you've done two times 10%, that's completely fine. Same down here, two times 100% is completely fine. Also with the addition, addition is also commutative. So if you did 5% plus 60%, also fine. All right, give yourself a mark out of how many you did and mark out of 10. Good job for that today. Next part is optional and is a little bit of a challenge if you are feeling up for that. Excellent effort. 
if you want to just have a go at a couple of them also excellent and just make sure you put a little note in the comments so we know that you're doing some optional work so this is all about exam style questions so we've taken exam style questions and we've adapted what you have to do with them so eight questions if you want to have a go at these pause the video now and have a go Right, answers are on the screen, tick and fix. All right, great penultimate week team. Have a lovely Friday and a lovely weekend. See you next week. Bye.